Hello class 5 students. I hope you are all doing well. Today we are going to start with the chapter 9 that is locating places on the earth and the main points are latitudes and longitudes, calculating the time and locating places. So let's start. Look at the globe and answer the following questions. First, in which hemisphere is Asia located? Second, in which hemisphere is South America is located? Third, in which hemisphere is Africa located? You have to see globe carefully and answer these questions accordingly. When we look at globe, we see many lines running from north to south and east to west. These are imaginary lines as these are not really present on the earth's surface. All these lines are drawn on the globe on maps to find the locations of a place and other things. These lines are called latitudes and longitudes. Here you can see the picture of imaginary lines on a globe. Now, latitudes. Latitudes are the imaginary lines that run from east to west. These lines are parallel to each other and at an equal distance from each other. These encircle the earth horizontally. These lines are also called the parallels of latitude. There are 181 lines of latitude. The latitude at the center of the earth is the longest. It is called the equator. Its length is reduced towards the north and the south. It is a point in the north and the south of the globe called the north pole and the south pole respectively. The equator divides the earth in two equal parts called hemispheres. The part of the earth which is in the north of the equator is called northern hemisphere and the part of the earth which is in the south of the equator is called the southern hemisphere. Here you can see in the picture important latitudes. Lines of latitudes are measured in degree. The equator is at 0 degree. The north pole is 90 degree north and the south pole is 90 degree south. Other important latitudes are Tropic of Cancer at 23rd and half N and the Arctic Circle at 66 and half degree N in north and Tropic of Capricorn at 23rd and half degree S and the Antarctic Circle at 66 and half degree S in south. Now, longitudes. Longitudes are the imaginary lines on the globe that run from the North Pole to the South Pole. All the longitudes are of the same length and these meet at the poles. On the equator, the distance between two longitudes is the maximum. Longitudes are also called the meridians as these indicate the time. Zero degree longitude is called the prime meridian. It passes the Royal Observatory at Greenwich near London. Meridian lying to the east of the prime meridian written as degree E and the meridian lying to the west of the prime meridian written as degree west. And the prime meridian divides the earth into two equal parts. The eastern part is called the eastern hemisphere and the western part is called the western hemisphere. There are 180 lines of longitude in each hemisphere. So, there are 360 lines of the longitude in total. 180 degree longitude is also called the international date line, which marks the difference of date between the eastern and the western hemisphere. Here you can see in the picture longitudes. Now, calculating time. The earth rotates from west to east, so the time on the places east of the prime meridian will be ahead of the time on the prime meridian. The time difference to continuous longitudes is 4 minutes. When it is 12 noon at Greenwich, 0 degree meridian, then it will be 4 minutes less at 1 degree west or 11.56 am on 1 degree west and 4 minutes more at 1 degree east or 12.04 pm on 1 degree east. The time at Greenwich is observed as the mean time known as Greenwich Mean Time GMT. In India, the time at 82 and half degree east is taken is known as Indian Standard Time IST. The Indian Standard Time is 5 and half hours ahead of the Greenwich Mean Time. So, it will be 8 pm in India when it is 2.30 pm in London. Longitudes and latitudes form a grid on the globe. This grid helps us to locate places on the earth. We can find the exact location of the place if its latitude and longitude are known to us. For example, New Delhi is located at 
29 degree north, 77 degree east. Here you can see the picture grid made by the latitude and longitude. Now, valued fact, we can find the location of a place if its latitude and longitude are known to us. Awesome fact, if we go east of 180 degree longitude, the date is one day ahead. Now, let's learn new words. Latitude, imaginary line on the globe running from east to west. Longitude, imaginary line on the globe running from north to south. Now, let's remember, latitudes are imaginary lines which are horizontal on the earth. These are parallel to each other. Longitudes are imaginary lines which are vertical to the earth. Latitudes and longitudes make grid on the earth which help in finding the location of a place. I hope you all like this session. Now we will meet in the next class. Till then, bye-bye.